when you make a vehicle, proportion is very important. A famous car designer told me that many years ago. So to match the size of the vehicle, we have 21 inch wheels. So if you look at it, it doesn't look like it's over tired or under tired. Hey guys, this is the all new Kia EV9. And if you thought the EV6 was too funky or too small for you, this is it. This one is a family SUV. It's bigger, it's more powerful, it's got dual motor and it has three rows of seats. So this is the front of the EV9. To me, it is something that you either love or you hate. But this is contemporary because actually electric cars do not require a grill. And I know it's difficult to see a car without a grill, but you'll get used to it. These are cube design, LED projector headlamps, and they are self-leveling. When you make a vehicle, proportion is very important. A famous car designer told me that many years ago. So to match the size of the vehicle, we have 21 inch wheels. So if you look at it, it doesn't look like it's over tired or under tired. Inside we have McPherson struts, huge ventilated disc. Then we move back, you have a large door that opens very, very wide. So getting in and out is very easy. And the wing mirrors are very, very different. So this is a camera and you can actually see the image on the door over there. So can you see me? Say hello. So looking at the seat, of course, the first thing you want to check is ease of getting in and out because my other half is quite small and getting into an SUV may pose some problems. So based on my height, I just have to sit here and I'm in. So there's enough headroom here and the seat is low enough that you can get in and out without knocking your head. These seats are not only electrically controlled, it also has a heater and a fan. So on a cold day, you can warm your backside. On a hot day, you can also cool your backside. Plus, you also have electrical seats for the co-driver, yeah? And it has so many controls here. But most important is this one. It has this little bit of extra tie support. So in case you ever have to charge your car up and you don't have a place to go, you can just relax in this seat. So the door handles are actually concealed, but they are out here because we are ready to open. And because it has three rows of seats, the doors open very straight. So remember, long door and opens very straight to give you more access. And there are two buttons to get into the rear seats. There is one here for people who don't like to bend down and you can get in easily. And if you want to bend down a little bit, there's another one here that does exactly the same thing. So it's very, very convenient. Okay, so what we're going to do is, oh yes, the rear seat is reclinable. So let's get inside. And here, there is a little grip handle for you to get in. So here we go. And this is actually made for three people. But as in all of these vehicles, two will be more comfortable because then you can put your seat down. You have your own aircon controls and the aeroplane type uh, aircon vents. The front is two zone, the back is one zone. And there's also air vents for the third row. So this car is pretty good. Plus, you get your USB ports here. And also, this is the Tauke seat. Yes, you can bully your front passenger. But if you are the Tauke, yeah, you normally sit on the left and you can give yourself extra leg room just by pressing on this button. And up here, you have a sunroof. The front part can be open and there's also a cover. Uh, but the back part cannot be open. The cover can be slided open and it's a see-through. So the rear passenger also gets seat heater and ventilator and also blind for privacy. And on top of that, the glass is also privacy glass. It's tinted darker. So this is the back end of the vehicle. From outside, you have LED lights and it's very characteristic. Seen from afar, you will know that it's a Kia. You get a little spoiler here to give the people inside a bit of shade in the hot sun. And also, it's of course an electrical boot. Of course, it's an electric car, right? So, uh, inside here, 
you have plenty of space and as a seven seater you still get some room here but let me show you this part so you have a power socket here and also a switch to bring down the roof and up here you actually have an emergency unlock for the boot in case somebody gets stuck inside the car and this one is the more interesting part and watch this guys so this is what controls the seat you don't have to pull levers here and push here and there so this one puts down half watch the headrest see how it goes down by itself and it goes down and it falls flat onto the floor the other one is this switch and it will do the same but watch this again so this is the second switch and look at this whoops and so you actually get a very very flat surface now let's activate the other two and if you just have a mattress or uh, some bed covers this converts into a bed how nice is it okay in terms of power this vehicle has 380 horsepower and they are equally split front 190 back 190 and a total torque of 700 newton meters so therefore you get drive front and back equal split and this vehicle has got a lot of power the weight is about 2.6 tons which is heavier than the ev6 yeah by about three to four hundred kilograms and battery is 98.8 uh, kilowatt hour battery and it runs an 800 volt architecture so it can take a 350 kilowatt dc charger and that will charge your car up in less than an hour or if you want to charge it at home it will take an 11 kilowatt charger and that will take you 10.5 hours to fully charge this vehicle so that's about a power and range is 505 kilometers wltp so your range anxiety won't be so great inside here you have electric adjustable steering for reach and rake there are two 12.3 inch screens in here but it's combined into one and three driving modes and over here you have lots of convenience items the dashboard itself is quite attractive and it's all hard touch and combination hard and soft and then down here they have cut off this one so it's easy to reach to the bottom because it's quite hard to have this joined up here so this is the new design and you have your usbs here and also your wireless charger is here little compartment for all your stuff inside here so everything is pretty well appointed full adas plus the cruise control has stop and go function so there's a 52 liter franc and this is good for small stuff that you want to keep and you can also hide your gold bars here if you want this is the seven seater version and the price on the road is ringgit malaysia 369668 ringgit on the road without insurance for another 5000 ringgit more you can get the six seater version which is a little bit more luxurious this is the six seater version and this is what you get for the 5000 ringgit more so the price is ringgit malaysia 374668 price on the road without insurance